And welcome back. We'd like to quickly thank our sponsors, Taco Bell. I'm Colton Spearman, and it's that time of the show. It's your sports update here. Last week, BNN announced that Athletic Director Jerry Schmoody was going to hire a new sports information director. Joining me now is that man, Adam Mazur. Adam, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Um, Adam, Hastings College has never employed an SID before, so can you kind of can you walk us through how you went getting this position? Absolutely. Well, it was one of those unique circumstances. Um, I was at work, and my phone, my battery, was not working. So I was sitting in a situation where I had no idea what was going on. I didn't even know the position was open. I ended up getting my phone turned back on. I was off for a day and a half. Ended up checking my voicemail, and Jerry Schmuddy had left me a voicemail. I went, this is interesting, SID. I went, they've never had one. All right, so I'm kind of interested about it, so I ended up calling him back, and you know, this was on a Tuesday, and uh, so we ended up setting up a time to meet um, on a Thursday morning. And, you know, so things kind of hit the ground running really, really fast. And this was actually two weeks ago to the day that we had the meeting. Sat down with him. Obviously, we threw a lot of things around, ideas, what they want to implement, things that I could bring to the table. And, you know, it was a very constructive meeting. So mm -hmm. we ended up, you know, saying, okay, I want you to go ahead and head over to the administration building, the marketing side of things, and let's see if we can't talk to Susan Mieske as well talked to her a little bit. That went very well because marketing is going to be very important because there's a lot of things that need to be implemented and implemented right away. I've already seen a little bit of pressure from our Great Plains Athletic Conference Commissioner. I know Corey Wester really well. but So, you know, we started hitting the ground running a little bit um, and it took a matter of about four days uh, to finally, not everything was finalized, but basically shook hands. Jerry Schmutty and I sat down and said, okay, you know, this is what we're agreeing on and let's hit the ground running. Very cool. Um, for those that don't exactly know what an SID is, could you maybe explain what a sports information director does? Well, you know, when I first had a lot of had my experiences with sports information directors, basically I just thought they were guys that came out and gave you all the information. You know, it was, okay, I need the statistics and give me rosters mm -hmm. and things like that. But you never see the behind-the-scenes things. You know, and so as I started working with the College Fan Sports Network and meeting more SIDs and seeing actually what they do, there's a lot of things involved. Yeah. There is obviously the sports information side of things, keeping the website up to date. I remember Troy Caton when he was running it back in the day that, you know, he was really big into keeping the website up to date, quick little blurbs, statistical things, and keeping the stats on the website up to date so the NAIA and Great Plains Athletic Conferences and other conferences around the country, you know, could do some scouting and things of that nature. Um, but aside from that, there's things, marketing side of things that you have to take care of when it comes to games itself. You've got to make sure you have all the advertisements placed where they're supposed to be according to what the marketing department wants. Um, you've also got to make sure the stats are taken properly and accurately, and that's where students come into play. So I'm going to have a lot of student interaction and opportunities for students to come in and maybe do some story writing, things of that nature that um, can also help you know, develop our website. And you know, so those are the things that I'm going to be working on. I'm going to be working with other SIDs, the NAI, uh, trying to build this website that you know, over the years, even when I was here, was very lacking in up-to-date content. Yeah. Uh, we, we can't have content sitting there and not being up to date every single day. So there's things, you know, and it's not the fault of anybody, it's just we've never had anybody in this position to make sure those things are getting taken care of because they had other different priorities. Of course. Now we have this opportunity, I come in, I have an idea of what needs to be done, so I'm going to go ahead and run with it. Very cool. Um, so what are you looking forward to completing the most? Like, do you have any projects in mind other than, I mean, you talked about the website a little bit, but do you have anything else that you kind of like to get accomplished here as the SID? Well, you know, projects, one of course is going to be the website. We're going to revamp it at some point and it's going to be a whole brand new look. So that's going to be something that's going to be really fantastic and it's going to be streamlined when we get to that. But that's going to be something that's going to be in the making here over the next, you know, six, eight, ten months. Of course. Um, another thing, you know, I was at the homecoming football game and there's just, uh, unfortunately there were some audio issues that we had to start the day. Mm -hmm. But we, um, you know, I was just sitting there, and, and, and you and I kind of talked about this before the broadcast, was a lack of atmosphere. Yeah. You know, so things like that that would be kind of cool that maybe I can, you know, throw some ideas around and maybe get some more atmosphere, whether it's at a football game or a soccer game or a volleyball game or a wrestling meet, it doesn't matter. So, you know, th so those are a couple little quick ideas that we want to implement, but, mm -hmm. you know, there's things that got to be taken care of first. Of, of course. And uh, finally, how will you work, do you think, with uh, College Fan Sports Network, the 
you know, the group that worked with NAI, you obviously know a lot about football and basketball teams in the NAI. How do you think that that's going to work to your advantage here? Well, it's going to work to my advantage for a few different points. One, um, I, I know nationwide that you know NAI has been my life. I was a grad from Ace Hastings College, so that's something that I'm really hoping to um, that I can bring to the table, especially from a scouting standpoint, from and recruiting standpoint, to bring these kids in, um, saying this is what you get from Hastings College. Of course. So you've got that, and then of course. Um, other things that I can bring is statistics. I've worked with SID help. So there's a lot of things that I have had that I can bring back and, uh, you know, you know, take advantage of everything that I've learned over time mm -hmm. and then put it to use in this new position. All right. Well, thank you for joining us, Adam. I appreciate Absolutely. it. On Monday, the Broncos hosted the Hastings College invite out at Lachlan Country Club and Riverside Country Club in Grand Island. Will Amio has a story on the golf team. This is Will Amio, HC Media. Thank you, Will. The golf team will next compete in the Sterling Warrior Invite in Hutchinson, Kansas on October 8th and 9th. The Bronco football team got a unique opportunity to play in the Dakota Dome this last Saturday as they faced off against GPAC rival Briarcliff University. Senior running back and Hastings College player of the game, Keenan Bellage, rushed for 148 yards on 26 carries, while senior fullback Tyler Mertens touched pay dirt twice as one, and a one-yard touchdown pass reception from quarterback John Dostal and a three-yard run that capped off a 13-play, 99-yard drive. The Broncos ended up winning the game with another solid offensive showing, 34-24. to The Broncos' next, take on, next, next con contest is here at home as they take on Dakota Wesleyan University Saturday at 1 p.m. in the NAIA Game of the Week. If you're unable to make it out to Lloyd Wilson Field, you can always watch the game streaming live here on hcmediaonline.org. Last night, the Lady Broncos volleyball team took on Concordia at Lynn Farrell Arena. The Broncos started the first set five points to one with three kills from Katie Zuha. An ace from the Broncos ended the set with a score of 25 to 18. The Broncos second set, the Broncos won the second set from. Six, as started off the second set with a 6-0 run and finished with a score of 25-15. The final set ended with the Broncos winning 25-16. Hastings totaled six blocks and 47 kills, while Concordia only had one block and 23 kills. Shayna Shocker led the way with 19 kills overall. The Broncos go on the road to play Briar Cliff next. Punishment for participating in school activities? That's the message some coaches here on campus are trying to send to their student-athletes. When it comes to sports and injuries, they usually go hand in hand. So here's Felicia Brazda with more info on sports injuries. For HC Media, this is Felicia Brazda. If you are an athlete, make sure you take precautionary measures in order to stay healthy. Thanks, Felicia. And now it's time for your Hastings College sports update from the previous week. The football team went to Briar Cliff in Sioux City, Iowa on the 22nd and defeated the Chargers 34-24. They are now 3-0 and receiving votes. The volleyball team beat Concordia last night in three sets, winning 25-18, 25-15, and then 25-16 to finish the Bulldogs off. The golf team was also in action in the on the 24th here in Hastings. They placed 8th overall in the tournament, while Captain Cody Vance led the charge for the Broncos, scoring a total of 150 points. Other notable scorers were Ross Hoagland finishing with 157 and Drake Smith with 158. Both men's and women's soccer teams were also in action against Concordia last night. The men won 2-1 in overtime, and the women won with a final score of 3-1. Hastings College alumni Tom Osborne announced Wednesday that he will be retiring as athletic director of the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. The move, effective January 1, 2013, comes after five years at the helm of the AD. In that time, Osborne has overseen the hiring of coaches Bo Pelini, Tim Miles, and Darren Erstad, as well as ex the expansion as on the east side of the Memorial Stadium and along with the city of Lincoln helping to get the Pinnacle Bank Arena off the ground, which will be the home of the Cornhuskers men and women's basketball team. There are a lot of Bronco sporting events going on this weekend. Hastings College football takes on Dakota Wesleyan at 1 p.m. The women's soccer team plays Mount Marty at 5.30, followed by the men's team at 7.30. Check out all three games here on hcmediaonline.org. That's going to do it for your Broncos sports this week. Coming up after the break, it's a look at... Get
we're going to take a look at Seek's Get Up and Move event, the AIDS Walk, and the first free movie night of the year. Stay tuned. This is Bronco News Now.